All right, y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the show. Let's get straight into this one. We're looking at the top 10 places to visit in the Czech Republic. I love looking at uh, places more in depth like this, seeing some stunning natural landscapes, and of course, cool cities, cool towns, attractions, the whole deal. I hope we find some cool stuff in this one. This is from a channel called The Travel Vlogger, and it'll be linked in the description down below so you can watch the whole video uninterrupted. And this was suggested to me through email uh, from Tommy. So thank you so much. When it comes to, uh, honestly, mostly vehicles, I've been very, very fascinated with uh, Czech products right tatra skoda uh and more it, it's really really cool and uh, i gotta dig in and learn some more about the country so i do have a few awesome videos picked out in the near future including today that i will be featuring uh, i'm very excited let's get into it this is the top 10 places to visit in the czech republic awesome let's go number one Prague. Prague's got to be on there. It oh would yeah. Be unthinkable Everyone knows to come Prague. Come to the Czech Republic and not visit Prague. Right. It is one of Europe's most visited cities and has a rich history wow. dating over a thousand years. It is the country's That's largest amazing. city and capital. Whoo! Look at that. How? <laughs> that would be wild to see in person. Look, there is, you know, not not much in the U.S. That's one difference when it comes to super old unbelievably majestic <laughs> structures like this um that is like breathtaking on video i can't even believe the presence that has in person wow with a population around 1.2 million how do they how do they build stuff like that uh even these smaller buildings look at all these red or orange roofs um, it's just got a feel, a vibe to it, doesn't it? It looks really cool. Even these really nice bridges going across uh, the waterway here. You got hills right scattered throughout. Very aesthetic place. Very historic. There are and aesthetic. so many things to do. One of our favorites was walking around the river, mm -hmm. learning about the famous Czech beer, and seeing oh, some of the city's monuments sign and me attractions. Up. Sign me up for that beer. Nice <laughs> Number two, Jeseniki. There are plenty of places to enjoy nature and adventure in the Czech Republic. Ooh. But our favorite was in Jeseniki. Okay. That is so cool. That looks like a wooden roller coaster, but it's a walkway. I've never seen anything like that. Look at that. What's the story with that? And damn, I love beautiful nature. Look at these. Holy smokes, we got Filled some mountain action. hills and an abundance of hiking and mountain biking, as well as many other outdoor activities. Damn. Looks like fresh air, too. Fresh. Fresh air. Number three. Wow. Brno. Brno, yeah. The I've heard of this Moravia one. I don't know anything about it, but I've heard of it. Country's second largest city. Okay, cool. It isn't near as popular as Prague, but it should be. It is the gateway to the country's wine lands and a home Ooh. to several universities. Look at that Inside aesthetic. the city, you can find many monuments. Someone tell me how they built that. Look at the in intricacies on these. Several universities. Inside the city. I mean, these were built a long time ago, and look at the in intricacies on this. And it's just massive. You can find many monuments. <laughs> I can't wrap my head around it. Cultural events. Very cool. Look at that. Markets and good eateries. Ooh, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Just outside the city, you can explore one of the country's natural wonders. Ooh. The Moravian Karst. I like, I like caves, sort of. Number four. They're Bohemian interesting. My wife absolutely loves caves. Bohemian Switzerland. Look at this. Wow. Located okay. All right, Czech Republic. In northern Bohemia. Damn. This region is another great place I like to visit it. For those in search of adventure. Oh, that Here is beautiful. You can hike beautiful. to the Pravkika Brana, the largest sandstone arch in Europe. What? Look at that arch. No way. Oh, I had no idea you guys had some arch action. Yeah, okay. That looks super cool. Look how big it is. Uh, people down here for reference. This is huge. And look at this tucked in there. This is very beautiful. Tons of good mountain biking and hiking. I'm getting that vibe for sure. Or take a boat ride through the Edmund Gorge and just enjoy the scenery. Look at that. Wow. All right. Number five, 
Chesky Krumlov. Located in southern Bohemia, this charming town is one of the most popular destinations outside of the big cities. Renaissance and Bar Very cool the way it's set up, right? Again, along this river, just kind of tucked in like that. You see that as a river takes a sharp turn. And then again, you got beautiful hills out in the distance. It, 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 I love the color contrast of, again, these um, orange red style uh, roofs with the green, that very lush area. Of course, what's the climate? What's the weather like? Kind of like in the middle, right? It's not I believe it's landlocked. Yeah, it's landlocked. So um, no, you know, coast, uh, immediate coast anyway. It's not, you know, terribly far north, but it's not like terribly far south either. It's just kind of in the middle. Rock building. Wonder how the wrap climate around the is. Curve of the Voltava River. Be sure to visit the castle and take a stroll through the city center to savor its well-preserved medieval core. Wow. Number six, Cromerets. Damn. Located 50 kilometers east of Brno, you will find the small picturesque town of Kromritz, which has been significantly influenced by the Olomouc bishops. Look at this. Look at this landscaping. Here you will find Jeez. a former summer residence, a large chateau. However, the most popular attraction is the Kromritz Gardens. Okay, that is absolutely spectacular. Okay, that is so freaking cool with its complex design and labyrinths. Yeah, complex is right. Who maintains this? This is incredible. Th this is literally incredible. I love it. Yeah, I've Number never seen seven. anything like that in Neumann. person. Located 50 kilometers southwest of Bernau, this small border town is home to some of the country's great wines. Nice. The town also is next to Podi National Park that is filled with cycling, hiking, and horse riding trails. Also nearby awesome. is the Vradnov Nad D Chateau. Whoa, look at that tucked up there on a cliff. Yikes, very cool though, Number huh? Great, Ostrava. How is the wine culture in uh, Czechia? Because obviously I know the beer culture is super, super popular. I've heard from, you, you hear different things. I've heard from some sources that I think uh, Czech Republic consumes the most beer per capita in the world. So I know the beer culture is awesome, and <laughs> that'd be what I'd be gravitating towards. But uh, look, every once in a while, uh, you know, I'll try a nice wine. So, uh, yeah, how's the wine culture? How are Czech wines? Let's hear about those. Located in the northeast I know the beer is of the good. Czech Republic, just a few it's kilometers be. from the Polish border, it is the country's third largest city, and it is most famous for being an industrial powerhouse of the past. And the best tourist attractions are the Landic Park Mining Museum. Uh, number nine. Wow. Different Little aesthetic Mitchell. than the rest. Located 100 kilometers north of Brno and is most famous for its Renaissance style chateau and the mini arcades and multicolored buildings in nice. Santana Square. Take a tour of the chateau to be amazed by its facade with Escrofito decoration as well as one of the oldest chateau theaters in all of Europe. Jeez. I just can't believe how different this looks than what I'm used to. <laughs> it's crazy. Number 10, Mikolov. Look. Wow. Look, this is a lot more hilly than I thought. It, it's really cool aesthetic. It's so green and hilly, right? It, it's like, it's not flat and it's not super like aggressive mountainous. It's just this kind of beautiful hilly green aesthetic with these awesome villages and cities. It's really Nikolov. neat. Located in South Moravia, near the Austrian border, the first thing you will see is a large Baroque chateau overlooking the historical center. It is a popular wine producing region and a great place to do tastings. Wow. Alrighty, well, that's the end of that one. That was great. That was actually a really quick and concise list. Uh, some good variety there. Uh, I definitely have a lot more to learn, and uh, I'd be happy being anywhere there. I think it looks really cool. Of course, Prague, I want to learn more about that. That is like a powerhouse, very, um, you know, well-renowned, very iconic city in all of Europe. So uh, Prague is looks awesome. But uh, really, Brno and, and the other towns mentioned here all had their own uh, flair, their own uh, aesthetic and flavor, I'm sure of it. And uh, even these natural areas, these national parks and um, 
these hiking trails and stuff. I mean, look at that. That is so beautiful and didn't really know what to expect. Uh, not, I guess, not what I expected to see. And uh, I'm very pleasantly surprised. So Czech Republic coming in strong on this video. Very, very cool. Uh, please let me know your comments. Great places to see uh, that we didn't cover here. Uh, or perhaps if you're not from there, you know, have you been there? What's been your experience there, of course? And uh, yeah, keep your awesome ideas coming. As always, a lot more to learn coming up. So uh, please throw a thumbs up on there if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to be part of this amazing community. And uh, yeah, until next time, y'all. My name is Ian. You watch the IW Rocker. And until next time, said that twice in a row. Darn it. I'll catch you later.